This is a gimbal I've been using for a couple of weeks now and I use it to capture some of my B-roll footage if you've noticed here on the channel and not only that it has amazing cool AI features that are enabled by just adding this magnetic clip that automatically pairs and attaches to it and in this video I'm going to be telling you all about it. This is the Zion Cinepia CQ5 and this is what you get in the box. This is how the box looks and you can see the different angles of the box once you open it up and remove the plastic wrap that it comes in you get to be greeted by a service card that looks like this and a manual as well and this is how the gimbal looks it's very portable and it's meant to be pocket sized and you also get a base that you can add to have it stand on its own and you can also extend it to reach a further distance with your gimbal and you have a power button and the USB-C port on the side right there. You can see you get a USB-A to USB-C cable to be able to charge your gimbal and in the box, this is how the gimbal basically looks. Now, I was also sent this CM15 light which is also another pocket size light that you can see comes with the service card and it comes with the instruction manual and at the same time you can see in the same package this is how the light looks it's very portable as well and you can fit it in your pocket and use it simply from just interacting with the two buttons that it comes with now also you get this ai tracker that zion sent me and this is the one that enables it to be able to do the advanced tracking that zion has been doing since 2017 and with each integration it seems to be getting better and better and of course for the light you get a USB-C to USB-C cable and this is how it looks. This is how the CQ5 looks you can see it close up using the different angles and you can see right there it has Xeon stamped and it has a quarter inch thread there that you can use to attach to your other camera equipments and to unfold it it's actually pretty simple so you just pull it up like this it makes a clicking sound and that's basically just about it so to fold it back you do the same and it locks in place so it's locked in place you can see it's not moving or rolling anyway and that helps you to be able to package it better and if you want to unpackage it you basically have to spin it from its axis right here which is pretty simple to do so then after you do that you can see it becomes loose to attach your mobile device which I've been using or with the iPhone 16 Pro you can see here the word Zion have to be facing up or standing straight up like this and the camera side you can see there's an arrow that tells you where the camera is supposed to be so my iPhone 16 Pro goes in just like this and you can see this is the regular 16 Pro it fits pretty well and for you to make sure that you have a good fitting just make sure you can spin your phone around like this without hitting the edges of the gimbal right here so this seems to be about right and you can see the different resolution or revolutions that it can do and once you've attached your phone basically the next thing to do is to turn it on just to show you some of the buttons that this has it has a USB-C port to charge it and it has the battery that it has last about 11 hours and to charge it to full is slightly below two hours from what I've experienced it comes with these joysticks that allows you to be able to control it further and this is the record button and you can toggle the different modes here and if you want to zoom in and out you have this button that you can can use there and at the same time there's a button on top for other actions such as going from landscape to portrait now to turn it on you just press and hold this button and after a few seconds you can see it blinks and give it a second and it will come back to life and boom you can see it's now back to life and this is how it looks if I want to go to landscape that's the button right here that I just double tap and it automatically goes to landscape and if I want to use the joystick to be able to set it up properly so that the phone can see I can use it like this or if I want to turn it this way I can be able to do that now Zion also makes this application that works really well with the gimbal and it's called the ZY Cami app and when you open it up you know you can set up your account pretty easily and you can see to automatically detect my gimbal the CQ5 and right there you can see 
it has some sort of AI tracking built in. So for example, if I want to track something or on the screen, I can easily just bring the gimbal right there. And then if I want to track something, all I have to do is put a circle on it and you can see the gimbal will automatically begin to track it. And you can see as I move up and down, it's automatically tracking it, which is pretty cool. So this is how it works. And if you want to take the tracking to the next level, it has accessories that come that you are able to pair with it, such as this magnetic AI tracker. And this tracker just goes on like that and boom, it auto pairs with the gimbal. And if I want to cancel the tracking that it's doing, I can do that. And if I want to make this face me, for example, like this, and then go to my front facing camera, you can see it's now tracking me. If I move side to side like this, the gimbal is also tracking me, which is something that's good. And you can use your hand gesture like this to be able to activate this tracker right there. And once it's locked on, the light will go from whatever color it's at to green to show you that, hey, it's locked on and it's now tracking you, which is something that's good. The mode button, if you press it once, it takes you to the next mode. So you, and then if you press it twice, it takes you to the previous mode. So the first mode that you see right there or the PF mode just means pan follow. And with this mode, the row and tie axis will be locked, but the pan axis will be unlocked. This is very useful if you are orbiting or going around something. And then if you press mode again, it goes to the second mode, which is L. And with this L mode, it just means all locked and all the accesses are going to be locked. It's useful if you're going to be walking in a straight path and you don't want the gimbal to move anywhere. The third mode is this F mode right there. And this is follow mode. The raw axis is going to be locked, but it will allow you to pan and tilt, which is something that's good. And then the next mode is the POV or point of view mode. And in this POV mode, everything is basically unlocked, meaning the raw tilt panning is all unlocked. If you are on the last mode and you press mode again, you can see it goes to this tilting mode. And this mode basically allows you to be able to tilt your gimbal or to be able to do like basically a 360, you can see if you want to do this cool animation with your phone and gimbal, this is what this last mode does. And you can see that the light will be blinking and it will allow you to capture angles, which are pretty cool and have this circular motion. And if you press mode again, it goes to the first mode. If you say the phrase or the words, Hey, Kami, you can see it makes a sound and it responds and allows you to be able to do different things. So just listen to that again. Hey, Kami. Yeah. So it has some sort of voice assistant that allows you to do some task without using both of your hands. So this means that your hands can be free doing something else it Has this extension rod that you can attach to it. And this will allow you to be able to stand it on a table and extend it. And speaking of extending it, you can see if you pull it out like this, it has an extension right there and you can see how much length you get if you want to extend it. And at the same time, if you want to adjust the angle, you can see you have this angle that you can adjust and you, you know, you can continue shooting something like that. The ZY Kami application has different functions that it allows you to do. So slow motion, you can do like a dolly zoom as well. You can do time lapse, you can do hyperlapse animation too. And every time you go to a screen or something that's new, you can see it will tell you what that does. Now, one of my favorite is the dolly zoom function. So you can see, please select the dolly zoom mode and you can go to it and then you select the function and use the gimbal and it will do the dolly, dolly zoom function. Now also you can go to slow motion and other video as well as photo modes in this ZU cam, but Put it simply, this is how this uh, CQ5 gimbal by Zeon looks. It's very portable and it's meant to, you know, fit in most of your bags and pocket. And, you know, you can just fold it like this, attach the AI tracker whenever you get there and unfold it and you are ready to shoot good 
stable footage with a gimbal like this so this is the gimbal that i've been using but like i mentioned zion also sent me this light which is a mini led 15 watts full color pocket light it weighs about 141 grams which is about half the weight of the iphone 14 pro max and it has different modes that you can be able to choose from and you see this button turns it on and goes to different modes it gets really bright just to put it in perspective you can see if i go to this video this is how bright it looks you can see with it on that's how bright it is and then if i turn it off you can see the difference it makes and it wasn't actually on 100% let me turn it on and yeah it's on 67% and if I go to 100% you can see how the light looks I can actually turn off my other light there and be able to just use this one and it has the full RGB mode as well so you can see here what it has just to show you here you can see you can adjust the dim if I go like hue and adjust the hue you can see how this turns out if i go to the next and adjust the saturation you can see as well and i can always go and dim it down to zero or to 100 percent if i go to a different mode you can see it has the rgb that you can adjust each individually like this and you can also adjust the dim while adjusting the rgb mode the next mode that we have are the different modes that you can see so you can see police car flashlights and all in all the it has 18 built-in scenes and modes it supports of course like i mentioned you can see there's a quarter inch screw hole for camera and tripods and it comes with magnetic expansion brackets that are available for using the light as a bundle and you can unlock it to more accessories and make it functional for you so it also has the color temperature right here so if you want to have it like warm color you can see it goes from 2500k all the way to uh 10,000k which is really white so it has that too and you can adjust the g slash m factor right there which is pretty cool and for a light that costs about 50 bucks i think this is pretty good if i wanted to use it as a fuel light because daylight temperature is about 65 right there and then if i go to my aero video and add this light i'll just dim it down because it's pretty bright even though it comes with this soft box at the front so if i dim it down right there maybe i'll say like three percent and if I add it right here, I think this looks pretty good. Or if I put it, this is worth it off. This is worth it on. If I put it to the side, maybe just to feel this darker part of my face, I think might be able to look better. So yeah, this is how this light looks. And shout out to Zeon for sending me the gimbal to be able to review and sending me this uh, light to also be able to review. I'll leave links to this in the description of this video. And that's about it for me. My name is Ben. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you with other pretty cool gadgets pretty soon. Peace.